All right, welcome to the next video series here on saving junk. This is the 69 GMC I've been talking about, and uh, we're getting ready to start on this thing. So let's uh, let's talk to the owner, see what's in this thing, kind of get a plan laid in place, and uh, let's get going. No, you're not bringing home another piece of junk. <laughs> Okay, so welcome to a new video series here on saving junk. This is a truck I've been talking about in the last few episodes, uh, 69 GMC. Uh, this is my buddy Bill here. Say, hey, Bill. Hi. Um, this is Bill's truck. He's also the previous owner of the Impala, so we we kind of worked out a deal. I'm doing some work on the truck for him, and and got the Impala for him. So uh, going to be working on this probably the next couple of months. Um, so Bill, why don't you run us through this thing of uh, just kind of what you did to it? Let's uh, let's start with like brakes and suspension and and uh, what you've done to it since you got it. Now I know when you got it, it was pretty much completely stock. Is that right? Yes, it was uh, stock, uh, bone stock. My neighbors, uh, mom and dad bought it new uh, down at a dealership in Kemswick, Missouri. And it's been in their family until I bought it two years ago. Uh, it also had a stake bed on it, and it had six uh, lug wheels. It has leaf springs, which is odd for this C10. And I took the six lug off, and I put five on five uh, Chevy uh, bolt pattern on it. Uh, it's got B body uh, Caprice front spindles which had five on five pattern then I bought custom axles with five on five it's got a 12 bolt rear end um, and it's uh, so it looks I like it looks like you lowered it pretty much I, I channeled the rear frame did the notch uh, flipped the uh, housing on top of the springs and uh, the front chassis is the uh, springs that was in my modified. So it's got uh, nine and a half uh, tall uh, front springs with uh, rubber bushings. Cool. Yeah, Bill's an old uh, roundy round dirt track racer. So any any dirt track parts probably gonna end up on something he's driving. <laughs> this is my actual modified engine that uh, uh, we ran at I-44 Speedway. It's a flat top 350 uh, with iron steel 462 heads. Okay, so what? Uh, so like this runs through the engine. What do you got for uh, what do you got for a cam? And uh... it has an Elgin flat type of cam. It has uh, uh, a stainless steel rocker arms. It has uh, GM Performance four barrel high rise intake. Uh, Molly flat top pistons. Scat H beam six inch long rods, uh, steel crank. Okay, we're back to the crank. What crank did you say you had it? I, I have no idea. It's a steel crank, but everything's been polished and removed, and I have no idea who, what brand of crank it is. Uh, it's a 40 over block with 462 uh, old school double hump cylinder heads. So it's old school, uh, as you can get, uh, with aluminum water pump, vintage air, air conditioning. Yeah, and then you put, uh, what is it, a Holly uh, fuel injection? A Holly Dominator fuel injection system. It looks like a four barrel carburetor, but uh, it's a tunable Holly Dominator fuel injection system. Yeah, I know it. Uh, it sounds pretty. It sounds pretty radical. So then you got <laughs> you got Flowmaster exhaust on it and fifties. Fifties got head. Now you got the ram horn uh, manifolds on it. Uh, pretty cool truck. You know, uh, unusual to see one this solid in this part of Missouri. So there's um, we're just gonna be doing some body work and painting this thing, um, but really not a whole lot to. To do here, he did get a cow induction hood for it, which I think is pretty cool. But like 
this rocker's solid. We got about 700 trim holes to fill. It's not a big deal, but uh, super straight, super solid. Got two 95 50 15s on the back. It has a 700 R4 four speed overdrive transmission. Yep, yeah, and I, I actually had that transmission built that was in a, a car I had, so I think it's got like a 2800 stall. And uh, you know, um, it's got the uh, constant pressure uh, BM valve body in it too, so you don't have to adjust the uh. TV cable on that 700R4 in here, which is pretty cool. Um, so we got this rocker to fix down here, which is, is not too bad. We're gonna fill the fuel tank hole because he's got a, a different fuel tank. I actually painted this side of the bed about a year ago, it got hit. So we put a new bed side on it and painted that. So we'll just mask that off and we're gonna match that paint. And uh, just decide what we're gonna do with the hood. We're gonna, we're gonna leave it black or we're gonna, or we're gonna, you want that hood white too. Let's go white and uh, Cole wants ghost flames. Oh, there you go. <laughs> and uh, like I said, super solid truck. Floors are solid. I mean, we're going to do, I think there's some, uh, he's got some new sheet metal here. We're just kind of going to use what we need as far as, uh, I think there's some cab mounts there. But um uh, Going to be a, fr a fun project to do, and uh, we're going to do a video series on this whole thing as we go around and uh, fix all the little stuff on it and uh, and get her painted. Uh, talk to my buddy Kyle, who is a um, another good body guy, another car guy, and he wants me to wire his garage. So while I'm doing this, Kyle's going to be over here doing the filler work on this on the uh, '61 the uh, two-door conversion so it's not going to be sitting all winter while we're working on this you don't see very many cow induction hoods here in st louis on c10s no you don't i said it's a it's a good looking truck you know unique looking i like the stance and the wheels and uh it's going to be a lot of fun to drive and if uh if uncle joe will get them gas prices back down it'll be even more fun to drive so uh Okay, that's all we're going to do for this video. It's just going to be a short one. Uh, that's just kind of an introductory of what's going on with it. And we'll uh, pick this up. I think we're going to we're gonna start on that back corner back there and just work our way around. We're going to start with uh, filling trim holes, get that sanded down. Um, need a little bit of rust down there we're going to, we're going to address and, uh, and uh, get this thing taken care of. So uh, make sure you hit like, you hit subscribe. Um, Leave a comment, you know, and uh, share this with some other people. And uh, we will see you next time.